What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're taking a look at how you can record your bios screen so you can see here we're at the desktop here and i will boot into my bios screen and i'll show you how i capture and record my bios screen uh, i did a video yesterday about how to flash your bios and a few people asked about how i captured the uh, screen in the bios um, and a few people said that they've tried it and it doesn't work but well, that's because you have to use the right type of device to capture the BIOS. And there's a few devices out there will actually do it for you. Some don't work and some do. I know this one does because I've been doing it for many years and I've been using this device uh, for a while and it seems to work pretty well. I use this to capture all of the BIOS screens and also um, Android TV boxes and mini PCs that I show you. I've been using it for quite a few years and it works pretty well for me. So this is what the uh, device is. I'll quickly show you here and how I got it set up. And it's uh, this one here. It's called AGP Tech, as in T-E-K. And uh, basically, I've got the HDMI cable going from the monitor screen into the device. And then I've got it coming out of the device, going into the actual computer. So it's sort of in the middle, really. The good thing about this is you can put a USB flash drive inside here and this will capture when I push this button here, it will capture this information to the USB flash drive. It looks a bit cumbersome, but it works pretty well. You can see I've got audio inputs on the front there as well. If I wanted to use audio and speak straight into the device, uh, but I just do a voiceover. It's pretty easy to do, but you can see here, Add a bit of power to the device as well it doesn't run on usb this one you do have to have a power adapter running to the actual power uh, line so you can see recording the screen here and i'll show you what that looks like in a second so if you take note of the time up on the top left hand corner and where the mouse is situated on security you'll see that i'll show you the recording of the screen which we're looking at right now now the good thing about capturing on this device is it captures it to my USB flash drive, which means I don't have to have some complicated setup. It's very simple. And you can see here, this is the sort of results you can expect. Now, not all capture devices will capture the BIOS. The Blackmagic will capture the BIOS as well, but you will need a separate computer to do that because it's an internal card. Elgato's do not capture uh, the BIOS, so you won't be able to do it with an Elgato. Uh, something like this does work. Uh, there's a few other ones out there that do work. Uh, you just have to do a bit of research and find out which ones capture the bias. If you're looking to capture biases and record your screen, i.e. whether you want to show overclocking or whether you want to show bias flashing and things like that. OK, um, so, yeah, you have to just do a bit of research. Now, this also does capture TV boxes and other things like that as well, if that's what you want to do. Now, this also does capture at your desktop and gameplay on your PC and also on Xbox and PlayStation and all those types of devices, depending on what you're trying to do. Now, it is about 50 odd pounds, which makes it pretty pricey for some people. But again, I bought this back in 2017 and uh, pretty much it's done everything I needed to do. It captures the BIOS and also does TV boxes and other things like that when I'm showing you reviews and things like that so it does exactly what i need it to do but if you're looking for something more serious i.e for more like streaming and things like that there's plenty of other options out there that do cost quite a bit more money but your world choice to really you make pays your money you take your choice so anyway i think that's going to be about it this is not a review of the actual unit itself this is more of a, a how to capture and record your bios screen really and any other type of screen that you want to capture with a device and it will copy that straight to your USB flash drive. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Just a quick video. I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.